Rod Stewart, 77, claims he was offered over £1 million £850,000, to play in Qatar in 2021 but declined due to the country's human rights record. The rocker also blasted organizers for allowing the Football World Cup to take place in Qatar. The Qatar World Cup has become a hot topic of conversation as some stars speak out about their refusal to go while others have come under fire for agreeing to perform. However, Rod revealed he had been refusing to perform in Qatar before it became a controversial subject. He told the Sunday Times, I was actually offered a lot of money, over $1 million, £850,000, to play there 15 months ago. I turned it down. It's not right to go. He added, and the Iranians should be out too for supplying arms referring to the drones supplied to Russia during the war in Ukraine. The Rock and Roll Hall of Famer has largely been considered an LGBTQ ally throughout his music career. He noted that performing in the country is not just a personal concern for himself but for the fans as well. Tell you what, supporters have got to watch out, haven't they? Although he is not performing at the tournament, the musician suggested a good opening song, his record The Killing of Georgie. The 1976 song tells the story of a gay man who is killed in New York City. Rod is the latest in a long line of celebrities to share their divisive opinions on the World Cup which begins on November 20. Recently, comedian Joe Lysak gave footballer David Beckham a high-stakes ultimatum. David has been criticized for reportedly receiving £10 million to be an ambassador for Qatar during the World Cup. Don't miss, Joe posted a video on Twitter, telling David, if you end your relationship with Qatar, I'll donate this £10,000 of my own money, one grand for every million you're reportedly getting, to charities that support queer people in football. However, if you do not, at midday next Sunday I will throw this money into a shredder just before the opening ceremony of the World Cup and stream it live on a website I've registered called Benders Like Beckham. Tom. Not just the money, but also your status as a gay icon will be shredded. Robbie Williams has also reportedly accepted an offer to play at the tournament, as TV presenter Paul O'Grady said he was surprised at the singer's decision according to The Independent. Paul added, no amount of money would get me there. Dua Lipa was rumored to be performing in Qatar but she brutally denounced the speculation. Her statement read, I will not be performing and nor have I ever been involved in any negotiation to perform. I will be cheering England on from afar, and I look forward to visiting Qatar when it has fulfilled all the human rights pledges it made when it won the right to host the World Cup.